ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to import a reference image for your modeling. So this is just going to be a very short tutorial, I promise there'll be more longer tutorials on the way, but um, it's a useful tip nonetheless. So to get started, this will mainly be useful if you're modeling from a specific image and you don't want to keep on um, flipping in and out of windows. So to do this, you simply hit Shift A, go down to Empty, and then Image. Hit RX90, and you get this, this see-through um, square outline. And if we render this, there's nothing. So effectively, it is an empty. But when we move over to our empties property panel over here, we can display an image. So we can just click open here. If I go into my downloads, I'm sure I've got something. Blender logo. There we go. This Blender logo. And as you see, the image pops up. We can also change the transparency, like so. And again, the size offset like so. So if I render this again, we'll get nothing because our light says add. We get nothing. And that's a good thing about empty. You can have your reference images there and there, and they literally are just a reference image. Unlike if you go file, import, there's a one with, which is image to plane. That will actually come up in your render. With this method, you can have as many reference images as you'd like. Therefore, um, being able to model seamlessly without having to mess around with these. So if you found this um, tip helpful, just leave a like and a comment and I shall catch you in my next video tutorial.